Hello, this is Quavo321, and you probably don't know because I didn't really tell you, but I planned to do something special, and it came today. I ordered it on Sunday through eBay. The mail system was down on Monday because of July the 4th, even though the 4th was on a Sunday. And, um, it came in the mail today, and, that, and today is Thursday, so it came very quickly when the mail thing said it would take 5 to 12 days. So, that's really great. This is a uh, Dell Mini 10 uh, netbook. Now, this was lightly used, um, so this is a used product. This is not brand new, but I should be able to take this right out here. And I already got my thumbprints on it. Pass this over there. Now, Let's see how this looks on the inside. As you see, there's a big gaping hole right there, and that's what this battery goes to. And now, I should not have that gaping hole. Okay, I see a light. The screen should come on soon. It should. There we go. Well, the thing is that, you know what? This disc here that says, oh, here's your operating system in case that you mess up and totally die. Well, I don't need it. I do not need this driver and utilities disc. I do not need this application thing of Oreo that's aren't installed. Here's this really weird kind of plug that is all built into itself. It's pretty light. Um, it's kind of cool. It has a light on the end of the uh, power jack. Okay. So, you know why I don't need those things? Because I plan to put this on it. I plan to use um, uh, Snow Leopard on it, and it also comes with a sticker, which I can finally place on the back right here on this logo, just to confuse people. This is designed by Apple in California. They really like to focus on the California aspect on all their products. Okay, so here's my two stickers. Might be hard for you to see. Here's the installation disk, which I need to put onto a USB stick or use my USB uh, CD drive, which I hope to do. Well, I just downgraded the firmware. F2. F2, F2. Okay. Now it says A04. Sorry, it's blurry, but this camera does not have good focusing. But that's the firmware I need so I can safely run uh, back on it. Well, I'm currently copying the, dim the image over because my USB DVD drive didn't work out. Do you have any idea how infuriating it is when things go at 2.6 megabytes per second? It's at 8 gigabytes now. Still at 2.3 megabytes per second. It's finished. Okay. So I put it in here. And, whoops, gotta hit this. Gotta hit it. Okay, now it's blinking there. Okay, so it's USB storage. It's blinking. Okay, there we go. Uh, it says Mac OS X install DVD. Okay, press enter. There's that guy up there still. Okay, okay, I'm trying the verbose um, mode where it's loading everything one at a time. Hopefully this works. I uh, Usually it it's like a safe mode. Okay, here's my panic um, screen. Time to figure out what this means. Well, it turns out all I needed to do was uh, get a newer bootloader. Turns out that um, Mac Dave or whoever came up with the guide had an outdated link on there, and it was meant for 10.6 point uh, something lower than three apparently. Well, I got it working now. And I'm happy, and I have now spent about um, three hours trying to find out this, the reason why it wasn't working. So, now I just gotta change this and start the installation, which will take an hour. Just thought I would pop in. It says 28 minutes left. Okay, the installation is finished. I now have the Apple logo showing up on this thing. And I have the little spinning look, uh, spinning thing. Hopefully you can see it better in the corner there and then in the center. Um, and I heard that the first startup was a bit slow. Okay, I got my uh, 
I got something back here. And here is the wonderful welcome video. And it's playing the music. I'll turn down my normal music here. You can sort of hear it. There's the big X. Woohoo. Really nice pull up. As you can see, the webcam works. And you could probably see me talk. Currently running the uh, netbook installer. Okay, restarting now. Heard a pop earlier. I'm guessing that's the sound. Hopefully it's the sound, not something physical. Okay, I'm currently installing Xcode. I've only got the uh, touchpad so I can just start tapping and dragging. Okay, so now um, Mac is currently registering the components for the Xcode. And there's a spot where I plan to put the Apple logo right over the Dell logo because Dell by itself pretty much just sucks. Well, now I have the Apple logo on. It is much later than it was before. I was installing all sorts of stuff like Adium, MAMP, um, and several other things. Okay, just letting you know, this is what Portal looks like on my uh, Dell Mini laptop and it is not looking good. It looks like it's not worth trying. I can tell you that. So don't try to play any Steam games on a Dell Mini because it does not work. Half okay, I'm going to try to play Sour Brain. Uh, it does not work very well in Portal. So I'm going to try just loading a map. Uh, let's just try, let's see here, this one has water in it. So as you can see down there, I'm getting about 44 frames per second right now. This is with flames and stuff on the screen. And it's pretty smooth, and there's water right there. Um, it's not wavy like it is on my computer. Uh, just letting you know, this is on two 24 inch screens at full resolution on both of them. It's really confusing because you got this whole blank space here. But uh, let's just say load map. I'm going to do the same map here. And uh, let me see here. As you can see, the flame looks pretty good. If I go down to the water, the water looks pretty nice on here. I'm getting 200 frames per second on my desktop. So it's pretty nice. So as you can see, I now have it in multiplayer. Here's this guy. Move around. I can move this guy around. I can move it so I'm pointing at me and shoot. And then I can point at him and shoot. As you see, it's very responsive. Left, right, left, right. And this is on somebody else's server. This is not in a local LAN thing. Um, so, it's, uh, it's pretty responsive. I just turn up right there, and boing, he's dead. Oh, and by the way, this is my old laptop, much bigger, much heavier, uh, not as powerful. Um, the graphics on it sucks, it's pretty much burned out. I got it for free for, in the first place. The hard drive I was given was pretty much dead. Okay, so that's how it is. Um, it's a overall good netbook. I just unplugged it. So just to compare with my old laptop and my screens, by the way, this thing's a lot smaller. My old computer actually boots faster because I have, oops, uh, because I have uh, Linux on it, and Linux overall goes pretty fast. So. You'll see in action soon. The only thing better about my old laptop is that it has a bigger um, screen physically and in resolution. So for a used laptop that I got here for $260, it's really good if you just get Mac OS and put it on there and find the right guide, and it's pretty easy otherwise. So that's this is Club 321 with my new netbook with Apple on it.